In another video, we derived this uh, sequential first order reactions from A to I and then to P, and we got the expressions of the concentrations of A, I, and P. A is very simple because A is involved in only one elementary step, and the concentration of A decays exponentially. And then uh, the expression of I is really complicated mathematically. We can solve the differential equation for I, and we got this expression here. And what about P? Again, uh, the concentration of A plus P uh, plus I plus P is always equal to a naught. This is because as the reaction proceeds, A is either converted to I or P or remain unchanged. All right, so what if we know Ki is much, much greater than Ka? If Ki is much, much greater than Ka, this Ka is much smaller, and this first step is much slower than the second step. And in a sequential reaction mechanism, the slowest step is the rate determining step. And we will prove that mathematically. And again, we're gonna just use this condition. Ki is much, much greater than Ka. And I will be assuming that Ki minus Ka is roughly Ki. Again, I'm going to give you a numerical example. If 1 million is much greater than 1, then 1 million minus 1 is roughly 1 million here. So we will be able to make an approximation here. Ki minus Ka is simply just Ki here. All right. And then we compare these two terms. Again, if Ki is much greater than Ka, and this Ki times T is much more negative than this negative Kat. And because of that, this term will be much greater than this one. So. We got this expression here. This is how I, the concentration of the intermediate, changes with time. And we do want to know how fast the product is formed. dp over dt is ki times i, so ki times everything here. And then we can see Ki and Ki cancel. The result is Ka times A naught times E to the power of negative Kat. And this is equals to Ka times A at time T. So really, you are simply looking at a first order elementary step. The concentration of P changes time, and uh, this Ka times A, the concentration of A at time T, this is simply a first order kinetics. All right, and we just proved that the overall reaction rate, how fast the product is formed, is equal to, again, the reaction rate here. It has nothing to do with case of I, because the first step is the rate determining step. Now we're going to assume Ki is much smaller than Ka. 
And uh, if that's the case, Ki minus Ka is roughly negative Ka. And uh, uh, this is an approximation. And again, I'll give you the exact expression for I. It's complicated. We don't have to memorize this. If we need this, we can derive this by solving the differential equation of I. Now again, I'm going to make the approximation here. On the bottom, it's negative Ka. On top is Ka, so it's just a negative sign here. And if Ki is much smaller than Ka, this term, negative Kit, is less negative than this negative Kat. So the value of this is actually bigger than this guy. And now we have the expression for i, which is simply a naught times e to the power of negative k i t. Uh, what about the concentration of the product? Well, the concentration of the product changes with time. Over here, I'm going to plug in this expression, and it's going to be just uh, Ki times this A naught times e to the power of negative Ki t. Yeah, now you can tell again the changes of this P, the concentration of P, the rate of the change is proportional to e to the power of negative Ki times T. You don't see K sub A here. This is not important because the second step is now the rate determining step. And this is a simple first order analytics again. Exponential decay and this is e to the power of negative kit instead of kat. Okay, what about the uh, expression for the concentration of p? It's very simple. N p equals a naught minus a minus i and we will have a naught as the common factor minus the concentration of A, uh, which is just first order exponential decay, and then minus the concentration of I, we have the expression here. I'll use the round parenthesis here. And again, uh, over here, if Ki is much smaller than Ka, we can safely neglect this e to the power of negative Ka. Again, because this part is going to be much more negative than this one, and we're comparing this to if this guy is much smaller than this guy, then e to the power of negative kat is going to be negligible compared to e to the power of negative kit. Done.